Greetings fellow adventurers. This is Venturian and I was sitting here thinking about what I could record for you guys and I suddenly had a really stupid thought. I was like, you know, I've never done a tier list and you guys keep asking me saying, hey, you know what? You should do a tier list. They're pretty fun. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do a tier list. But I was like, I don't know what to do a tier list on. So I was like, you know what? I so far in my 30 years of life have never actually tried to rank all 151 original Gen 1 Pokemon in one video. This is going to be an undertaking and I'm going to get moving to actually make sure this fits in the video. So I'm going to start right away. So this is my opinions of the designs of all 151 original Gen 1 Pokemon. All right, so Abra is, uh, he's okay, he's a C, he's a C. Uh, Aerodactyl, now this is a pretty cool one, but he is just a, he is just a Pterodactyl, which is not that great, so C. Uh, okay, so this is Alakazam, I think, is that right? I don't know, he's he's clearly a B, not great. All right, Arbuck, uh, also C, also C, we'll go with that. Uh, Arcanine, I, uh, I don't know, he's just a dog, but he's a cool dog, I'm gonna put him in B. Uh, Archicuno. Archicuno is a cool bird, but it's just a blue bird. I mean, it's just a blue bird. Something great. I'm gonna put it in C. Uh, Beedrill. Beedrill's actually pretty cool. I, I like Beedrill. Beedrill goes for B. For B Beedrill. Uh, this is, this is a, one of the bell things. I forget what its name is, but it's not that good of a design. It's D. Uh, Blastoise. Yeah, S. Bla Blastoise is, uh, Bulbasaur S. Butterfree is A. Yeah, I like Butterfree. Caterpie yeah, B. Uh, okay, Chansey. Chansey is kind of, it's a good design, but it's also kind of, it's it's a little unsettling because why has it got an egg? I don't even know. I'm going to put it in C. Charizard. Oh, Charizard is the goat, but not quite the goat, so it goes in A. Uh, Charmander. Uh, Charmander is good. Char S. Uh, Charmeleon is a little boring because he just looks like Charmander, but a little bit less cool, so I'm going to put him in C. Uh, okay, this is Clefairy. Clefairy can... No, this isn't Clefairy. This is... You know what? I don't even know what this is, so it goes in D. Uh, this is clearly a B. Uh, it goes in a B. That's fine. All right. Um, this is a... I, I forget the name of this one, too, but this one also is a pretty cool design, so it goes in B. This is a Cubone. Cubone is cool, and it's got a dark story of its mom's skull on its head, so I'm gonna put that in A. Uh, we got a dugong. Dugong is, it's a seal. It goes in D. Uh, D Diglett. Diglett goes in D for Diglett. Uh, Ditto goes in D for Goo. Uh, okay, we got the three-headed one, which is Doug Trio. No, that's not Doug Trio. That's Doug. Okay, you know what? I don't even know, so it goes in D. This also goes in D. This is, um, this is, this is actually pretty cool. I'm going to see. All right, this is, I kind of don't like a D. This one is kind of less cool than that, so it goes in D. This is... Okay, I hate this thing. Uh, it goes in D. Uh, okay, this is Doug Trio. Doug Trio is a little bit cooler than Ditto, or, or whatever that is. I don't know. Douglet, uh, Diglett. Uh, Eevee. Eevee's pretty cool. Eevee goes in A. I like Eevee. Uh, Ekans. Ekans is literally snake backwards, which is kind of dumb, so it goes in D. Uh, we got Electrobuzz. Electrobuzz is actually pretty cool. I like Electrobuzz. We're going to go put him in B. We got... Uh, is this Electrode? Uh, I think so. Electrode. Electrode's kind of not that great. C. Uh, okay. Okay, I hate the egg thing. Okay, no, I don't like this either. Okay, uh, we got far fetched. Far fetched is a bird with a piece of leek lettuce. Uh, it goes in D. Uh, okay, this is I forget what the name is. It's a bird. It's a bird. It goes in D. Uh, okay, Flareon is pretty cool. Not gonna lie, Flareon's pretty cool. It goes in C. Uh, Ghastly. Ghastly's awesome. Ghastly goes in B. Gengar is the man. It goes in S. Geodude, my main man! I love you! Geodude's S. Uh, Gloom's pretty good. I like Gloom. Gloom goes in A. Uh, Zubat. I'm trying to remember the names as fast as possible. Zubat is a C. Uh, Gold D. No, this is Gold D. I don't know what it is. You know what? I don't even know what it is, so it goes in C. Uh, this is Gold Duck, right? Gold Duck. It's actually pretty cool. It's one of the least known Pokemon. No one talks about Gold Duck, so I'm going to put him in C. Oh, Golem. I like Golem. I like Golem. Golem is an A. Graveler is all... Oh, Graveler's an S. I love... Oh, Geodude's entire line. Okay. Grimer. Grimer goes in C. Uh, Grouth goes in C. I didn't see that. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, I forget his name. What is his name? I don't know. Uh, something. He goes in S, though. Uh, Haunter's also S. Love Haunter. Hitmonchan. Love it. A. Hitmonlee. A little bit less, so C. Uh, ooh, I kind of like... I kind of like Horsey. Horsey goes in A. Uh, Hypno. Uh, he's kind of boring. Goes in D. Um, Ivysaur is a sore that is Ivy. Goes in C. Jigglypuff is pretty good. B. Uh, Jolteon. Oh my gosh, yes. S. Love Jolteon. Uh, Jinx is a little disturbing, so that goes in D. Uh, I forget what this thing is called, but it's unsettling, so it goes in D. This thing I like. This thing's pretty, pretty cool looking. I'm gonna put that in B. This is... 
uh, Kazam? Kazam, is that right? I don't know. Uh, he gets, he goes in D. Uh, we got, uh, I don't even know what this is, but it looks pretty cool, so it goes in C. Okay, we got Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan's got a baby. I don't know why it's got a baby. The baby could be Cubone, so the baby goes in C. All right, we've got Kingler. Kingler is just a crab. I don't like it. Okay, uh, Coughing. Coughing's pretty cool. Coughing goes in C. We got, uh, Krabby? Crab Krabby's Krabby. I'm gonna put him in D. Uh, Lapras is, yeah, I, I kinda like Lapras. Lapras goes in B. Licky Tongue is disturbing on every single account, but I love him, so he goes in A. Uh, I don't remember what this guy's name is, but he's got four arms. You can't beat that. He goes in A. This guy's only got two arms, so he goes in B. And this guy's got little wimpy arms, so he goes in C. Uh, Magikarp, I love him, but I also hate him, so he's in D. Uh, Magmar is pretty cool. I like Magmar, but he also kind of looks kind of dorky, so I'm going to put him in C. We've got uh, Magnemite, which is it's literally some magnets and then some screws, so he, I'm in C. It's fine. Three of them is dumb. I'm putting in D. Uh, Mankey, dumb. B D. Uh, Mo Marowak or whatever is just a bigger Cubone, which is not really that good of a design, so I'm gonna put him in C. Uh, I don't know what this is. It's some dark version of, I don't know, D. Um, I don't know what these are. These are like super advanced version. Is that a B drill? But he's like a tank? I don't know what that is. All right. Blastoise, but he's got three cannons. What is this? What is, I didn't play these games, so I'm gonna put them all in D. Just D, D, D. I'm offending someone I know, but wait, his baby grew up. Okay, I, he gets a C for that. His baby grew up. I like that. Is that like a, oh my gosh, does Mew 3? I don't, I mean, I don't, I don't hate the design, but I don't like the design either. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that just in D. Uh, okay, D, D. Is that, is that a slow bro wearing a shell? What in the world is going on with Pokemon these days? Okay, Meowth, Meowth is pretty, Meowth is pretty cool. I'm gonna put him in D, B. Uh, Meta, Metapod, is that what this is? I don't know, D. Um, Mew, Mew is, Mew is pretty cool. Mew goes in A. Mewtwo is awesome. Mewtwo is S tier. Mewtwo is amazing. Moltres is cool. I do like myself some Moltres. So we're going to go ahead and put Moltres in A. Okay, I'm making some progress, I think, guys. I don't know how long it's been, but I'm making some progress. Mr. Mime is kind of creepy, but he goes in C because he's funny. Uh, Muck is not so great. Put him in D. Uh, I don't remember what this thing is called. It's a purple one, so it goes in D. Uh, blue one goes in D. Uh, this one goes in D. I don't... These are not... I never like these because they all run together and I can never tell them apart. Uh, Ninetales, though, is awesome. Ninetales goes in S... Um, let's see. Uh, I forget what this this one is called, but he's pretty cool. Gonna see. Um, I don't know what this one's called either. Not that great. This one's also not that great. Now Onyx is pretty cool. Onyx goes in A. Um, we got. Oh, this is that one with the really dark thing where like the the mold on its back took over its body. So I'm gonna put it in C. This one looks cute, but it's also terrifying. So I'm gonna put that in C as well. Uh, this is a Persian. Persian is kind of just a cat. Not that exciting. Put it in C. Uh, oh, I love the Pidgey line. Pidgeotto is actually my favorite. This is, is this Pidgeotto? No, the, no, this is, you know what? I don't know what it is, but I'm going to put it in C. Um, I really like Pidgeotto. I think this one, so he's going to go in A. Um, Pidgey, it goes in C. That's fine. Pikachu, though, I think he deserves to be in S just because he's been a mascot for over 20 years now. Uh, we've got a, I don't know what this guy is, but he's kind of cool, so I'm putting him right there. Okay, Poly something, not that cool looking. Uh, Poly World, though, is pretty cool. I like Poly World. We're going to go with A. Poly Wrath is kind of exactly like Poly World, but a little bit angry, and angry people aren't that cool, so I'm going to put him in B. We've got Ponyta, is that right, I think? Or Rapidash? I don't know. It's one of those. It's a horse that's on fire. So, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, let's put that in C. Uh, Porygon, Polygon, po I don't know what this is, but it's kind of ugly, so it goes in D. Uh, this is basically just Mankey. Uh, this is Psyduck, I am Psyduck, so he goes in A. Uh, okay, let's be honest, I am Psyduck, so he goes in D. Um, Raichu is kind of just a bigger Pikachu, not that great, goes in C. Uh, Rapidash, now that Rapidash is pretty cool, so Rapidash goes in A. Um, let's see, Raticate, is that right? Radita, Raticate, I think so. Raticate is, okay, I guess C. Raditta is probably a little bit cooler, goes in B. Um, okay, uh, what is this? What is this? This is Ry, Rydon, Rhyhorn, Ry somebody, Ry Ry, Ry Ry, my rhinoceros, uh, he's pretty cool, it goes in B. Uh, Rhyhorn, though, is probably the same, so I'm gonna put them both in B because I'm biased like that. Uh, we got Sand Shrew. Sand Shrew is not that cool, so he goes in C. But Sand Slash, man, you put Slash in the title, instantly better. Goes in B. Uh, this is Scyther or something like that? I don't know, pretty cool. Goes in B. We've got... 
you know what? I don't know what this thing's called. It's basically horsey, but a little bit more angry. What I said about angry people, angry people go and see. Uh, we've got, you know what? I forgot this thing existed. So it goes in D. Um, we've got, okay, it's just a dumber looking dugong. I don't like it. It goes in D. Uh, this is a shelter. Kind of cool. It's got a tongue. It goes in C. Um, okay, slow bro, but it's a slow bro with a thing on its tail, which makes it a slow broski i don't know what this is uh i'm just gonna put that in d slow bro he's fine he goes in c snorlax is kind of a king goes in b honestly sparrow is pretty awesome and by awesome i mean he goes in d because he's boring squirtle's pretty awesome though squirtle goes in a because i'm mean, gonna look at him he's adorable and he had like an entire gang of other squirrels and sunglasses love that episode all right so we've got uh star me star me star right it's pretty cool I mean, it's a sentient star. That's pretty cool. It goes in B. Star you, star me? Is this star you or star me? I don't know. But either way, it's a little bit less cool because it's not purple. Purple stuff's cooler. Tangela is actually Jessica's favorite Pokemon. So therefore, it goes in D. Um, This is a... It's a bull. It's literally just a bull. It goes in D. Uh, this is a... You know what? I don't know what that's supposed to be. So it goes in D. Now, this one looks a little cooler. So it goes in C because it's got like more than just two tentacles. You know what I mean? Like it's all about how many tentacles you can get in there. You know what I mean? And this just two, not not that good. This is a Vaporeon. Vaporeon's pretty cool. Going to go in a B. I put a lot of water types in B. I, I'm not noticing. And I don't know exactly why that is. But water types are, are, are clearly B tier. Uh, we got a Venusaur. Now, Venusaur is a big thing thonk boy he thonk he he's here he comes oh lord he coming um i'm going to put venusaur eh, venusaur is an a venusaur is pretty cool pretty intimidating big froggy boy all right here we go this is a vena 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 something vena it's it's just a moth it just goes in d um this is vena nat looks a little bit more unique so i'm gonna put that in in a c c seems pretty right for that uh we got victory you know what? I don't know what this is. Victory, uh, Viv, yeah, it's, it's dumb. Okay, put that there. Uh, this is, this is, this is something. This is, yeah, let's see, it's fine. Uh, the Voltorb actually looks cooler than Electrode, so he has to go one above because he just, he's angry. But I know what I said about angry people, but it still doesn't count because angry people also sometimes can go and be. So disregard that. Volpix is, is what Jessica is. So clearly goes in S because cool um okay war turtle um all things considered actually for the fact it's literally just squirtle what was like weird wings and stuff pretty cool um i'm gonna go ahead and put that in b because it looks pretty cool um this is a weedle weedle is wheedling and he's not that cool honestly he goes in d um all things considered i don't know what this thing is and it looks pretty dumb so i'm gonna put that in d um wheezing wheezing is kind of like coughing but maybe i'm gonna put him in the same place as coughing because he's still purple and bulbous so i mean he goes there all right i w what is this wiggly tough maybe i don't know it's a rabbit now apparently where did i put jigglypuff jigglypuff's a b so i'm gonna put this in c it's fine it's not offensive or anything all right zapdos is pretty cool i don't know where i put the other birds where is maltrace where did i i'm never gonna find it where is maltrace i'm not seeing Mal oh, maltrace is an a uh zapdos has at least got to go with maltrace because they're pretty cool birds where did i put archicuno did i did i did I put all... Where did I put Archicuno? Oh, Archicuno is in C. All right, so clearly I put the other two birds two spaces higher for no discernible reason. All right, and the last one we got is Zubat, which is... Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, C, there we go. I ranked all 151 Pokemon, plus whatever these extra mega level ones were, which I don't know anything about. So I just stuck them in D by default. They're not actually D designs. Some of these look kind of cool. The Black Charizard looks kind of cool, and Mew 3 is not terrible. But um, I went ahead and just stuck them in D because I don't know. All right, so this is the final ranking. Uh, S tier, we've got Blastoise, Bulbasaur, Charmander, Gengar, Geodude, Graveler. Uh, why am I drawing a blank on this one's name? It's a really cool Gyarados, uh, Haunter, Jolteon, Mewtwo. I need to brush up on my Pokemon names. Ninetales, Pikachu, and Vulpix for our S tier. And then D's got just <laughs> freaking everybody because I must not like a lot of Pokemon. Um, but yeah, I, I'm pretty happy with this list. I think this is pretty much where I would put them. So yeah, you guys let me know what your opinion is of where I put these. But yeah, this was kind of fun. I should do some more tier lists if you want me to. Give me suggestions of things to do in tier lists. I could literally do tier lists for anything. I could even do Generation 2 Pokemon. Because that would be fun too, because I like Generation 2. Generation 2 is pretty cool. So if you guys enjoyed it, leave a like, leave a comment. We'll see you next time.